short cup made of half ten. Oh, excuse me, sir. Yes, ma'am. Please, I want to plead with you to understand that there are new people here. If you overjump, you will be making our bread to. Don't worry. <laughs> I will not overjump from the stage. Don't worry, not the stage. I'm a good teacher. Thank you. Between January, between January and now, I've received some of our 500,000 from different people from different countries because they valued my teaching. You send me extra dollars. I will try my best. Okay, number one. Shortcut. Uh, shortcut method for detecting common diseases. Shortcut method for detecting common diseases. Okay, I'm doing this so that uh, if we don't cover how the absorption works, this shortcut method will cover a lot of the common diseases that you'll be dealing with on a day to day basis. Alright? Number one, how to detect liver disease. How to detect liver disease. Okay, so, and step one, scroll to the liver function page. Scroll to the liver function page. Examine the biosecretion function. Examine the biosecretion function. If it is reading moderately at normal low, if it is reading moderately at normal low, it may be pointing to a liver problem. Scroll to the liver function page. Examine the bisection function. Can you see? We have how many parameters in the liver function? One, two, three, four, five. The bisection function. Okay, so if it is written on the normal low, it may be pointing to a liver problem. Hold it right there. The QRMA device result interpretation was also a course that was handled in our natural medicine training program, and the shortcut steps to detecting about 20 common diseases with the QRMA device were taught in this program. All these trainings have been pre-recorded and packaged into an online masterclass course in natural medicine. There's no way around it, you have to subscribe for the complete online masterclass course in natural medicine. So that you won't become a half-baked consultant in this field, if you missed the program, now you have the opportunity to subscribe to our online masterclass in natural medicine and gain lots of knowledge from different courses that will benefit you and empower you to be equipped to consult as a healthcare professional. Are you ready to subscribe? What are you waiting for? Subscribe now. But for confirmation, see there's the place of suspecting and confirmation, right? Now, there's a difference between the quantum analyzer and the NLS. That's why I highly encourage you to try all your time to upgrade to the NLS. Alright? Now, the um, limitations of the, the quantum analyzer is that we may, when I call this one some EMU, it's not generalizing liver disease. For other liver disease, there are different types of diseases. We have a hepatitis, we have a liver cirrhosis, and so on. Okay. So, when your patient comes, you are telling the person his liver, your liver function is abnormal, so it will be pointing to this or that. But the, the amazing thing about natural medicine is that when it comes to treatment, it is holistic. When you are giving a natural um, help, you discover that. It has a holistic effect on the entire organ, the, the organ as a whole. Okay, so that's where uh, we are not out of place with the quantum analyzer. But with the NLS analyzer, it will narrow it down to the disease name. If it is liver cirrhosis, it will tell you you are going to see it there. If it is uh, hepatitis A, B, you see it there. Okay, so. Let's continue. So, we said we check the liver function, 
fire solution function and energy production function. Check the energy production function for a moderately abnormal load. Have you written that down? Energy production function for a moderately abnormal load. Then um, you also check the protein metabolism for a moderately abnormal load. You check the protein metabolism for a moderately abnormal load. So we are saying that when a patient comes to you and you scan the patient and you discover in the quantum analyzer that uh, the bias solution function, or let's say the person wants to check whether he has a liver disease. So they are telling, they are saying that we are going to, where are you going to? The liver function page, right? I like liver. If a patient comes to you and he has uh, suspecting a liver problem, which uh, report will you go to? The liver function page. Okay. So there are three things we are going to check there. And I normally put it this way. One, and two or one and three or one and two plus three the first thing you check there is what bias function function the next thing you check energy production function the third thing you check is what protein metabolism so bias function function is very key to liver dysfunction. Who can tell us what the function of the bile? Who knows? Huh? It breaks down the fat. Okay, what other thing does it do? Bile. Bile is majorly, you know, you not know, in chicken, you know, that power of other good thing. <laughs> okay, so. It, it is used to, it, it, it carries the digestive enzyme. So it, it is used to break down protein. Okay? It's used to break down protein. Okay? And it is also used to uh, produce cholesterol. Take note of that. It's also used to produce cholesterol. Okay? So now, a situation whereby, uh, a situation whereby, it is not eating. Yes. What you need to take note of when it comes to quantum analyzer, forget about the big drama. Carry the dictionary. Look at it. Yeah. What is the meaning of solution? What is the meaning of buy? What is the meaning of function? Combine the three together, you have an understanding. Are you getting it? Yeah. So he's talking about solution. Now this guy is not eating that juice. Okay? That's why it's more than normal look. Now, there's something, if there's a liver dysfunction, then the bile is not going to be functioning well. Where is the bile located? Around the gallbladder. Inside the gallbladder. Okay? So it's attached to the liver. So you can see how they work. That's why you're checking the liver function. So, if it is not splitting that juice, then there is, it's pointing to a liver problem. Now, for further confirmation, you check energy production function. Because when we eat foods like protein, okay, the, the, one of the end products is to generate energy, glucose, for us to function. Right? So, if there is no production of glucose, there is no production of energy to function, then there's a problem. There's a problem with what? The liver. Okay. Then protein metabolism. Now, whenever you eat protein, give me examples of proteins. Meat. Beans. Egg. Food. So that when you eat beans, when you eat egg, when you eat what else? Fish. All that. And it's not breaking it down. It is pointing to what? Liver problem. Is that right? Can also, can, can also be said the person is deficient of the 
When you talk breaking it down, yeah. can it also be said the person is deficient? Yes, when it comes to diet, you see, he's a dietitian. He's a, he's a, he's a okay? Because, uh, uh, let, let me put this. I don't know if we'll have time to go over um, these elements and vitamins. Some of those um, vitamins and um, trace elements, they are needed in small quantities in the body on a daily basis. Meaning that it doesn't have a storage. Uh, where you can keep large quantities like a one one liter or one kg. They are just in micrograms and so on. Because it is meant the way God designed is that from what you eat on a daily basis is supposed to uh, take from there and nourish the body. There is special whereby every day you're just eating ever. Morning, afternoon, evening, which is containing more of carbohydrates. Maybe we don't have all those B vitamins, A vitamins, and you are doing this. It's never like this for the next two weeks, for the next three weeks. What is happening? You are going to be um, making your immune system vulnerable. Because those uh, vitamins, those trace elements, those minerals, they are meant to fight pathogens when they come. So when it is deficient, when there is no daily supply, day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, and so on, it will one take from the body cells. Now, and there's no replacement. You do this over time to finish the one in the body cells. So when the next time the other set of pathogens coming in, they are seeing the open. That's how they attack. And you see inflammation. You see all manner of uh, chronic conditions coming. Right, so let's move to the next. So, can I get a feedback? Want to check for different disease? What's the first parameter? Where are you going to check? Okay, so, uh, number two. How to detect typhoid, malaria, malaria parasite. How to detect typhoid, comma, malaria, and the QRMA device result interpretation was also a course that was handled in our natural medicine training program, and the shortcut steps to detecting about 20 common diseases with the QRMA device were taught in this program. All these trainings have been pre-recorded and packaged into an online masterclass course in natural medicine. There's no way around it, you have to subscribe for the complete online masterclass course in natural medicine. So that you won't become a half-baked consultant in this field, if you missed the program, now you have the opportunity to subscribe to our online masterclass in natural medicine, and gain lots of knowledge from different courses that will benefit you and empower you to be equipped to consult as a healthcare professional. Are you ready to subscribe? What are you waiting for? Subscribe now.